here's a problem that I'm facing when I'm writing automated tests using AI. It tries to get the test to pass uh, no matter what. It kind of like cuts corners or it avoids strict checking. So I'm going to show you an example. And this is a learning, a learning point for me that when I'm writing automation with AI, I do have to review it. I do have to review every test, how it implemented it. Yeah, some of these things I think I can fix with a prompt, uh, just with a better prompt, but I wanna show you that you can't fully rely on AI to write you a robust automation. In this example here, what I'm trying to test is basically I have this field, this is like a little app that I'm building. I'm supposed to paste a JSON here, select from the dropdown, and it will automatically generate a video. Uh, that's just something I'll, I'll show you another time. But so what I asked the, the, the AI to do with a cursor is to basically select basic tutorials and make sure it works. Select basic tutorials, upload a JSON, and make sure it works. So the code it wrote, what it did is, is it tries to select, uh, this is Playwright, it tried to select uh, one of the options that says basic tutorial. And if you can't find it, it puts it in try exception, it's going to basically get all the options, loop through each of the option, and look for the word basic and tutorial. So it's looking for an option in the dropdown that has both words basic and tutorial. So in theory, you might think that's okay, but that's definitely not okay if I want to strictly select basic tutorial because I could have other options here. For example, basic Java tutorial. That's not what I want. I can have basic tutorial on uh, something else. Not even tutorial, tutorial. So it's looking for anything that has those two words. So instead of saying, hey, I can't find basic tutorial, the test fails, it's going to be like, hey, is there any option that has the word basic and the word tutorial? And that could be a combination of anything, right? It can be any options there. So I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What I wanted to do is I wanted to fail. For this particular test, I want to make sure the basic tutorial is there. So, you know, I'm going back and telling it, hey, don't do that. Um, and it will fix it, of course, no, no doubt about that. But it's just a good point that you have to review the test to make sure it is testing the right thing. Because it's going to try to get it to pass. What you wanted here is for the test to pass uh, kind of like no matter what. Well, maybe not no matter what, but just forcing it to pass. All right, so that's just a quick example of uh, how I'm using it to write automation. My name is Armas Kunfu. I run superiskyway.com. I am in a software engineering test. And check out the bio and the links in the description.